Hi everyone, welcome back to Andrea's Attic. Andrea here. Um, yeah, we're going to do another Marilyn scrapbook flip through. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Basically, we're taking a look through all my Marilyn scrapbooks. I've been keeping a Marilyn scrapbook since 1990 when I first started collecting clip-ins. Um, my scrapbook goes back as far as the 50s. I've collected lots of different articles over the years. Um, some of them aren't actually in books. They are literally loose. Um, but you will see that in another video later on and how I organise all those scrapbooks, um, non-scrapbooked articles, because that will be a video in the future if you, if you want to see it. So this is finally book 15 and the last one we did book 11 because we actually somehow managed to leap over it and straight go straight to 12. So this one's a purple volume. Again, these were from WH Smith. And uh, so again, we start off with a lovely picture of Marilyn. This is from Sam Shaw, 1956. I love this session. Okay, so DVD review August 2002, The Diamond Collection. So this is when 20th Century Fox re first released their DVD box set of Marilyn um, films. So there was a box set um, of video cassettes and a box set of DVDs. I have <laughs> I have both the DVD and the box set versions and in the video and the VHS versions I also have the American as well as the British edition so but the DVDs only have the British ones so I mean I don't know do you want to see my video cassette collection because that's massive it's in the attic but they're all fine I was looking at them the other day so if you wanted to I could sort them out and we could have a look at my VHS Marilyn collection if you want to if that's something you want to see let me know in the comments below so this was a nice long article featuring the films, tells you which films are in it, and there's lots of pictures. Again, DVD monthly, again, this is about the Diamond Collection. Um, title, Your Candle Burned Out Long Before Your Legend Ever Did, which is obviously a quote from the Elton John song, Candle in the Wind. Another nice long article, Ooh, we'll just cover that bit up so you can't see the nudie bits. So, there we go. So this actually focuses on each film, so you've got Don't Bother to Knock and Monkey Business. And then Niagara, Down for Blondes. And there's a little bit about each one, there's some trivia. It's it's a lovely article, very long. How to Marry a Millionaire, River of No Return on that page. Some Marilyn quotes, and then there's no business like show business and the seven year itch. And then bus stop and let's make love. And that's the the most of them. And then they've got uh, other diamonds in the rough, which tells you what other things are on there. So deleted scenes, uh, photo gallery, and of course the final days. There's something that's got to give one. Oh, do excuse me from knocking the camera. This one is um, the weekly news, 3rd of August 2002. So people in the UK would know the weekly news. It's a weekly newspaper that comes out once, I think it comes out on a Saturday. And they very, very regularly feature Marilyn on the cover. Now, unfortunately, I never get them all because it's very hard to get hold of where I am. Occasionally, I find it, and if I do see it, I pick it up if she's on the cover. So, 40 years after her death, the legend lives on. So, of course, this is 2002 now. Uh, gentlemen still prefer the ultimate blonde. A bit of an article there. And there's, obviously, the Kennedy dress from the 1999 auction. And then the Warhol art art I say art I, I don't like it that's just me and then we've got BBC News uh, internet article uh, hundreds remember Monroe about the 40th anniversary of her death Robert Slate so we're still alive then um, next one is from the Sun and this is this old house 50s fan Colin lives the American dream um, basically he's got a Marilyn Monroe themed diner in a caravan in his garden. Some people do the strange things, but why not? And then we've got uh, The Express. Wow, it's Marilyn at 75. So what The Express think that she would have looked like had she lived to 75. There we go, so. There we are. Another BBC news article, Marilyn 40 Years of Allure. Again, this is the 40th anniversary of her death. 
and there's just a piece of Marilyn art there. Then we've got uh, Donna Gets the Wind Up. This is from the Mirror. Uh, this is Paula Jennings who plays played Donna in, I want to say EastEnders. Yeah, EastEnders. I don't know. I don't watch EastEnders. I don't watch any of the soaps actually. I don't watch EastEnders, Neighbours, Home and Away, Hollyoaks, Emmerdale. Coronation Street. We're going to have our names for them, like Constipation Street for Coronation Street. Um, Village of the Damned is Emmerdale. Dead Enders is East Enders. I haven't bothered with the rest of them because I've never watched a lot of them. My mum still watched Neighbours and Home and Away if she remembers. Anyway, I digress. Uh, next is uh, Sunday Mirrors Get the Look because this was the anniversary of her death and it was 40 years, so uh, bustier and uh, corset thingy and what sort of makeup to use, like perfume, obviously Chanel number five. Then we've got a lovely picture of Marilyn here because all over the page we have a lovely great big article um, from the Sunday Times magazine flirting with the camera. This is about um, the photographer Andre de Dienes. That's how I pronounce it. It's probably wrong. I have no idea. Um, and the book that he released in whenever it was he released it the Tashan Titian I don't know how you pronounce that either so there you go so all his lovely famous photographs of our girl our favorite girl there you go. beautiful article beautiful book if you haven't got it there is a cheaper edition you don't have to buy the big box set like I've got again if you want to have a quick look at it check out out the Marilyn photo books you should own. I think it's in there. If not, it's definitely in the bookshelf tour. If you do watch any of those and you want to see any specific book I haven't already covered, I know somebody wanted Marilyn in Spain. I will be doing that. It's on my list of films, things to film. Um, just leave me a comment in the video. I will get the message saying, can you do a flip through of this book, please? Or can you do a review of this book, please? And I will put it on my list. My list is really long. Like I said, it's very hard for me to do it with Jennifer and my business and work. But I am getting up to date with things now. There was a time about a month ago I was really poorly. I spent about six weeks where I was buying stuff when I was feeling up to going out and not listing it for the eBay store. And then I got conjunctivitis and I couldn't do anything for a fortnight. And so I am so far behind with my listing. I'm sort of catching up now, I'm getting over with it now, I'm almost caught up. So it won't be long before I've got a lot more time to make videos, which would be great because I can't wait to get back. I'm hoping to do a colour and catch up soon. Anyway, so this is still the Andrew Dianis, but like I said, if you want to see any particular Marilyn book, let me know and let me know if you want a review or a flip through. Uh, I want to be bruved by you, Jade does a Marilyn. So this is the late Jade Goody. When she dressed up as Marilyn, there's a picture of her there. Article for, here it is again, the Diamond Collection, the original Material Girl. Um, and then this is from the Mirror, the Daily Mirror. My parents read this, so I should get all the articles. I don't, they do miss them. Why we can't say goodbye to Norma Jean. And it's just why we still love her after all this time. Now for me, it's her look, her glamour, her innocence. Um, obviously, when you f when I first discovered it, it was about how she looked. I thought she was the most beautiful person I'd ever seen. As I got to know more about her, I discovered that she was a beautiful person inside as well as outside, and that's why I love her. I love her humanity. I love her as a person. Uh, you know, I love her films, and I'm not going to lie, I love her glamour, and I will always love the glamour part of it. I was always drawn to glamour, even as a small child of seven or eight, before I became a fan, I would go through my mum's catalogue. This is true, this is a true story. Now, my mum had uh, several catalogues when I was growing up, and William Trevia actually had a collection in one of them. I think it was probably Grattan's, I'm not sure. But I remember looking at those glamorous Hollywood style dresses, um, obviously because it's by Trevia, and I love them. I was never one of these for, the, I mean, I wear all casual now because I'm overweight and I need to lose weight and I know it. I was never one for casual clothes. I always loved the really glamorous, sexy, gorgeous clothes. I still do. 
<laughs> I'd love to be able to wear the slinky dresses even at my age now and uh, but you know I'm not I'm not slim I need to work on that um but yeah I was always drawn to the party wear section of the catalogue let me just say rather than the casual wear so when Trevia was in there I used to pour over it and I used to love it and this was as a child of seven or eight so I've always been drawn to this sort of look that's my phone um, then Daily Mail, the girl who became an icon. Again, this is Andrea Dirienes. This is a, again about that book. Here it is, the, the Tashin book, which if you want to flip through, I will happily do it. It's a massive book, but I will do it. Just let me know. Again, Newsweek, 12th of August 2002, Becoming Marilyn, about the Tashin book. Tishin book, however you pronounce that. Beautiful pictures. I just don't, I can't get enough of Andrea's pictures. I think they're just stunning. But then pretty much every picture of Marin is stunning. Milton Green is another one. Um, I know my friend in America, Jackie, and hi Jackie, if you're watching this, uh, wants Josh Green, who we all know, to do a book just of the photographs of the Prince and the Showgirl. And I'm with you, girl. Come on, Josh, we need this book. We need the Prince and the Showgirl Marilyn book. It would be amazing. So there you go. That's my shout out for Jackie and Josh. <laughs> There we go. So some of these are photocopied where I can't get two copies of the magazine. Again, uh, this is from the same um, magazine Newsweek and it's a review of the book. That's called The Making of a Legend. So it tells us what they think about the book. It is a beautiful box set. It's massive, but I, you know, it's stunning. Um, on this one, this is uh, National Enquirer, again. Marilyn, the long lost tape proves she was murdered, except for there is no long lost tape because nobody's actually heard this long lost tape, which reportedly exists. But it doesn't, because nobody's ever heard it. So until I actually find here the tape, the original tape, not a computer version, the actual original tape, I want to see it, hold it and play it. Examine it to make sure it's not been cut and chopped and edited. Only then will I believe it. So, I'm sorry guys, I need the evidence. I need to see it with my own eyes. And then we've got the National Enquirer salutes Marilyn Monroe, the films of Marilyn Monroe. So that's quite a nice piece for them. Doesn't happen very often. So we've got Bus Stop, Seven Year Itch, Misfits, Show Business, Some Like It Hot, How to Marry Millionaire, and of course my favourite, Gingerman for Blonde. And then this is again Jade Goody as a Marilyn, um, which was in Hot Stars, which was a magazine that came free with OK. So, and then there's Paula, what's her face again, Donna from EastEnders as Marilyn. I'm going to say I actually prefer Jade. And I was never a big fan of Jade Goody because I was never a big fan of what was it, Big Brother? I, I've never watched, I've watched a couple of episodes and it's just not for me. I don't do reality TV very much. Um, I don't do a lot of TV these days. I prefer YouTube and movies. There is some TV, there are there are some TV programs I watch, um, you know, but um, reality TV has never been much I mean, I like the talent show reality TV, so sort of things like Stars in Their Eyes, but I've never really liked The Voice or Britain's Got Talent or Pop Idol when that was on. <laughs> Never really into them. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. Um, uh, how to be a screen goddess with Marilyn Monroe. So uh, change your name, have friends, be talented. At least they say she's talented. Be content, which sadly she never was. And die mysteriously. I think I will give up on the die mysteriously thing because that's not good. Um, so again here, this is What to DVD, September 2002, Diamond Collection, another big article on that. I love these. Let me just have a look at that. Nobody embodied sex quite like Marilyn Monroe. And again, there's a breakdown of the films and the final day. And that's the end of that one. So that is book six, 15. 15, yes. Book 15. They are numbered on the side as well. Yeah, I'm really behind with these. I think I'm on about 2010 and we're in 2019. That's not good. I seriously need to crack on and get this lot organized. <laughs> I'm 
tumblers. <laughs> anyway, that's books 15 of the Marilyn Rose scrapbook. We will be running out at some point, so I do need to crack on and get a new one done. Um, somebody did say they would like to see me actually do it, how I do it, um, which would be possibly difficult, but I might try um, when I get to my next one. I'm near the end of one, or I'm at the beginning of one. Am I near the end of one? I don't know. Anyway, when I do the next one, I will try and show you how I do it. It's not very exciting, i got to be honest. So that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment what you want to see on this channel below. Tell me what you like. Do you like the colouring? Do you like marriage? Do you like photography? Do you like the buying and selling videos? Do you want to see a selling roundup? Because that would be interesting, but I'm hopeless at technology, so screen sharing is not something I'm going to be able to do. I will literally have to point my phone at the thing, my camera at the, the computer and show you it that way. But there. Let me know what you want to see, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.